Hi, good morning all. Okay, um, before we start, and you can see that I've put on my old card here. Um, if you have not updated your card, this would be a good time to just pause and update. Um, what I've done is I have put up the, the equation for uh, current, which is uh, current is equal to the charge in coulombs divided by the time in seconds. I've also put Ohm's law, and this is Joule's law, so maybe I'll even put this down. This is, no, I'll do it in something else. This is Ohm's, and this is Joule's. And now, you, you may not need to even do this because if you have that, that magic wheel, then both of these are included in that magic wheel. Okay. The rest of it, just a reminder that when you see it work and you see potential energy, you're talking about the same quantity and so they're interchangeable. Uh, and it's measured in joules, which is a one newton per coulomb, which is also one volt meter. Okay. Uh, volts is the, again, the potential energy divided by the charge. So it's, this is really a reworking of this. Okay, now that goes back a couple, of, a couple of units. The other thing that we wanted to put in is that an ampere is a equivalent to one coulomb per second, or if you wish, 6.24 times 10 to, 10 to the 18th electrons per second. So that's old news, um, but but if you have not got that or some re, uh, resemblance of that, please do that. We're going to be adding to this card today, but uh, not right away. Uh, Kirchhoff's laws, this is on page 10. Kirchhoff's laws are where uh, dealing with circuits takes a, starts to get a little bit more interesting. And we're not going to do much, much beyond Kirchhoff's laws um, because it allows us to calculate different values for, uh, for current, for voltage, and for uh, resistance within a, a circuit. Uh, first of all, talking about series and parallel. Uh, series is anything that's in a row, okay? So if you have, these are resistors. I don't like drawing those zigzag things. So here we have two, two uh, resistors, and let's say 10 ohms each um, in, in series. Uh, or if you want to put cells, in series, so more than one cell in a series, it's called a battery now. So those are ways of dealing with that. So if these are traditionally, not always, but uh, for the most part, uh, we all often talk about those as being 1.5 volts each. So the total uh, voltage, Vt, is equal to 3.0 volts, and over here, uh, the resistance, for example, would be resistance total would be the sum of those, or 2.0 ohms. Okay, and so that's all this is to do with. If things get a bit more interesting when you're talking about parallel, because parallel, as you meet, as you meet, uh, figure means side by side, and so to calculate, uh, to calculate voltage in a, uh, par parallel cells is a bit different. Let's suppose we have a situation like this. Oops. And we retain the idea that each one of these is a 1.5 volt cell, what would be the total voltage of this parallel uh, arrangement? Well, this uh, side has a total of 3.0 volts because 1.5 and 1.5, and this side has a total of 3.0 volts. Okay? But together, together this whole 
is equal to the 3.0 volts plus the 3.0 volts of each side divided by 2, which is now back to 3.0 volts. You can say, well, why would anybody want to ever want to do that? Well, you can see by the, the benefits is that although this gives you more voltage as you add different cells on, this does not. These guys wear out really fast these guys, because you're dividing the work between the two, these tend to last a lot longer. And so in some applications they're preferred. If you have the space, then it, this is preferred. So let's look at uh, down below. There's just a little exercise for you, a practice little exercise to get, your, get you interested. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the, the video and I want you to assume that each one of these sets of lines, a large one and a small one, represents 1.5 volts. I want you just to quickly figure out what each one of these uh, series, no, series, that's a bad word, these combinations of cells would give you. Okay? So pause and come back. Okay, glad that you came back. So this one obviously you should have 1.5 volts, 2 in series, 3.0 volts, 3 and 3 divided by 2 is 3, plus 3, 6.0 volts, 3 plus 3 divided by 3 is 3 total, and 3 plus 3 divided by 2 is 3, so this is also 6.0 volts, so good job. Okay, moving on, this is where you're going to pick up your, your uh, card again, and what I want you to do is I want you to um, write that, uh, copy this on the back of your card. Okay, so here's the back of my card, I've got that down, and just, uh, just, uh, overall when you're talking what this means is that and, and we'll get into this later Ooh, actually we'll get this into maybe tomorrow's lesson because I'm going to divide this up into two parts in a series situation the current of the within a circuit is the same no matter where you are when you get into a parallel situation if you have Two, two wires going through, then you can have different currents in both, and but the sum of those will equal the total that's in the in the uh, circuit. Okay, and we'll, you'll see what the, what this means. It's actually really really simple. It's easy math, so don't worry about it. Total voltage in a series is equal to the sum of the voltages in that series just like we did on the previous page. And total voltage in, um, in a parallel s uh, uh, system is equal to each of the voltages, okay? Total resistance is uh, the sum of the resistances. This is a little bit sneaky because this is only good. This is what we did in the previous one, like for example, in identical resistors, it is equal to the resistors divided by n. Each resistor divide the two resistors divided by n. That's true in identical, but in non-identical, and this is where you're going to have to add to your, your card as well. In non-identical, which we're going to be using right now. This is how you solve it. 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 dot dot dot. And uh, don't worry about that. I will show you how that works here because we've got non-identical. Okay? Now, for the moment, 
uh, I want you to ignore. We're, um, um, I want you to ignore this stuff at the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this stuff at the do uh, bottom here. Okay. I know it's going to get a bit crowded, but don't worry about it. Okay. So let's look at this situation right here. Okay, um, now the this is non-identical. So before I'm going to solve for this, oh, oh what do we know? Let, let's start from this top. We know that the total voltage be, uh, produced by the, the uh, energy source is 6.0 volts. We know that we've got two uh, resistors in series, one at 5, one at 3, and we've got these resistors in parallel, non-identical in parallel. So if you go through the routine here that I just set up here, the total resistance in this part, so I'm going to put a block this around here, the total resistance is going to be equal to 1 over 3.0 ohms plus 1 over 6.0 ohms. Now if you run that through your calculator you'll get a number that you have to find the reciprocal of it because you're not looking for 1 over 2, R2, you're looking for R2. Okay, And if you do it right, play with your calculator, you'll come out to this as 2 ohms. So now, the total resistance in this in the circuit, the total resistance in uh, probably should be R for the circuit is equal to two ohms plus the five ohms plus three ohms, which is equal to ten ohms all day, right? Okay. So now we're looking at this uh, this value here, and using this value and this value, we can calculate the total current. So the current in this whole thing. So current, I'm going to just draw, just for the sake of memory, I'm going to draw Ohm's law uh, magic triangle here, where V is equal to I R. The I is equal to V over R, which is equal to 6.0 volts divided by the 10 amps, or 10, uh, 10 ohms, and this is going to equal 0 0.6 amps. Okay? Now remember that I said here that when you get into parallel, the total, this, is going to be determined like like this has got 0 0.6 amps but it's splitting and so s there's going to be two different because we've got two different um, uh, resistors it's going to split and some is going to go into here and some is going to go into here but the big question is what is the um, what is the voltage going to be in these two situations so we go back to again to uh, Ohm's law, where we know that oh, okay, I'm going to change colors here, just because, because I want to know the voltage. I'm going to do the volt. This is a voltmeter. So you have one lead. You have a black lead, and you have a red lead in a, a voltmeter. You put one one side of the resistor, and the other one the other side, and you get a reading in here. And the big question is, what is that reading? Well, that reading in volts is going to equal the current in that side times the resistance. Okay? So this is going to equal 0 0.6 amps times 2.0 ohms.
doesn't make sense. This is different than what you're going to learn later on. Anyway, this is what it says. Um, so there's, so this comes up to 1.2 volts. Okay. So this, what's going to, uh, this is not going to be 4.8 volts. It's going to be different, I think. It comes up to 2.4. I'll come up to 2.4. This is 1.2. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you do that. Okay. Now, uh, what I want you to do is on the next page, we're going to call it pretty quick here because there's some videos that you have yet to watch, is I want you to use the same strategy and to determine what the current is in each of these circuits. Okay? Now be careful because it's the, the values are the same but you're going to find the currents are different. Okay? So pause now. Do the calculations and come back. It should only take you about mm, maybe maybe 10 minutes. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'm assuming that you have done your deal and you're back again. Okay, so the first one, the first one is, uh oh, what did I do with it? So, what we have here is we f first we have to solve for the inter the resistance in this parallel situation. So the, the resistance uh, in the parallel, or let's say resistance two three, is equal to oh I'm sorry one over the resistance two three is equal to one over one hundred plus one over twenty five, and I believe that is equal to 0 0.01 plus 0 0.04 which is equal to 0 0.05 so when you take the this is 1 over r23 <coughs> so r r23 oops is equal to i think that's 20 20 ohms so in other words <coughs> this guy here going to be 20 ohms. This is 20 ohms. So in, 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 if you consider this now in series, the resi uh, resistance total is equal to 40 ohms. Voltage is equal to 120 volts. So current is equal to V over R, which is 120 over 40, is equal to 3 amps. Okay. Now, let's let's do B. B is a trick. You'll notice that this is an open circuit. This means that the switch has not been set. So even though you have a, a, a voltage source here or a power source here, there's no, there is no uh, uh, current running at all. So in this case here, this is easy. There is no, no current. This one here, 3 amps. Okay? This one is a bit interesting as well. You'll notice that there, I that there is an opening in this side of the circuit here. So functionally, what that does is that eliminates 
this side of the, cir the parallel circuit it's blocked out so it, essentially what you have is you now have two uh, resistors in series so now the total resistance is equal to 100 ohms plus 20 ohms is equal to 120 ohms the voltage is 120 volts the current therefore is 120 volts divided by 120 ohms is equal to 1 amp okay so what I would like to do is I would like you to let me look at the textbook just momentarily if I can find my textbook my office is not as clean uh, as you would like to. Okay, let's look no. at um, practice problems. I would like you to look at, if you look at your, down here, for now, look at practice problems on 6.3.1 uh, 6 on 245 and quick check on 246 these two now on 246 or 247 Question four gets really, really complicated. So uh, there is a QR code. So uh, please check that out. Okay? And so that's going to be it for today. Um, use your time wisely. Uh, next day, we're going to come back and we're going to look at Kirchhoff's laws uh, in detail. There is also um, two uh, Khan Academy videos that I want you to look at and those I will leave the uh, um, the links for below um, and then next day we will carry on okay well, thank you guys <coughs> it's always a pleasure to meet with you even if it is through um, through this uh, fashion love you and go away